Hey, fish fans, it's Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson here in Carabell with the boys from Salt Strong, and we're out here catching some snappers, and guess what happened? We had some more shark encounters. So we did manage to catch a nice bonita, which we're gonna show you how to transform into an amazing shark bait. And since I have my new and improved shark specialist, young Wyatt, we're gonna put him back to work and see if we can't catch another man eater. All right, so we caught this fresh bonita, and a lot of times folks wanna know the best way to set up shark bait. Because we're sitting out here in deep water and we're gonna fish a bait on the surface and we're not trying to put it on the bottom, we're gonna fillet this bonita up. I already got started here, okay? And you're gonna come across the top of the bone here and you're gonna work down the whole backbone and make a nice big fillet. Pull it up on the backside here, okay? And come out and start with that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And you can come right in here behind the peck fin. Slide right down the backbone. And that gives you two really nice fillets. And then once we get through fishing with these, then you can always use a head. You can break this in half and make an additional shark bait just the same. So now, you're gonna take this big giant piece, but you don't need to use this whole piece. So what we're gonna do here is make two big strips. You cut this right down the middle. Get through the skin, keeping the knife going away from you and make two big strip baits. Now, when you put a strip bait on a hook and you're gonna put it out on the current, it's very important that you put the hook in the thin end and not the thick end. Because most things in the water that swim always go small or pointy end first. It's called hydrodynamic. The advantage of doing that is that this bait will now float out here on the surface and it won't spin near as much as if you hook it back here in the fat piece. So we find my favorite dot circle hook from owner and we're gonna hook this up through the skin up toward the very end and make sure that you don't have any skin touching the barb. And now that nice big strip bait is ready to go in. So, now I have bait in, wash my hands, because you never want to touch your rod with bloody, oily hands. You bring the young guy with all the muscles with you, which is Wyatt, and you can see my bait sits up here on the surface. It doesn't spin. So now we're gonna let this back a little bit with a little bit of lead, because these sharks have been buzzing around here, and if you watch that bait, it hasn't spun yet. It looks natural, it's just drifting back. And we're gonna set this sinker here about 15 feet down, leaving that bait out there nice. And before the big shark comes, I'm gonna give this rod to Wyatt. Now, the trick to that too is keeping that bait triangle piece, hook in the top end of that to where it doesn't spin. You can fish that bait up high on the surface. You can fish it on the bottom if you're sword fishing or doing all kinds of other deep water stuff. Anytime you gotta put a bait in a current, you want to always make sure it's hooked from the thin end. Uh-oh, we got, one, uh -oh, we got one coming already. See that color? I, I see that color, Bubba. Here he comes. Let's see if we get bit. I can't imagine that shark's not going to eat a big old fresh piece of that bonito. So earlier today, Wyatt caught the big man-eater bull shark. I got a feeling these are giant reef sharks, so we want to try to catch one so that we can identify what it is. They're sliding around. We've lost a couple fish here already to sharks. We caught an amberjack, we caught the bonita, and the sharks have been around here chasing us. They won't leave us alone. You can see that one right here, just that color green. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Man, that is no joke of shark. Uh-oh, be watching. <laughs> be watching. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's two of them on it. There's two of them. Uh-oh, here we go, here we go, he's on it. There we go, <laughs> hooked up. Now, I think that took less than 30 seconds and we're we on. Three sharks over here. Oh, he's off. He's off. Oh, no. We pull the hook. Yeah. Still got your bait? Okay, you got half your bait. So you put it right. You know what? Bring it in here first. Let's check the circle hook. Make sure it didn't get fouled. See this right here, folks? This is a big issue. That hook somehow got caught back up in itself. And if that barb is not exposed, you can't hook anything. Whether you're live bait fishing with a pilchard, a pinfish, a shrimp, cut bait, anything you do, if the circle hook gets hooked in the meat and fouls itself, it cannot hook your fish. So we won't blame Wyatt so much for that one. 
one of the things about bonita skin is it's very tough. It's hard to get it off the hook, which keeps little fish from stealing that bait. Okay, now we did make two baits just for that reason. And once again, triangular shaped piece through the skin up on, up on the shallow piece. Make sure you get some skin on there. Okay, let's try that again. Yep, go down about 15 feet because that keeps us a chance to see them sharks and let that bait sit in the current. It's not spinning. It's fresh. They can't say no. And let's see if we get bit again. That last bite didn't take 30 seconds, gang, so let's see if we can do it again. They're still hanging out around here. Oh, you're not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like us. Here we go, here we go. He's coming for it. Oh, and you can see, look at that, look at that. Oh, he just ate it. Close your bail. Why'd he come tight? <laughs> Teaching the young guys everything you know. It's not that easy some days. All right, we're on. It's a big shark. It's a big shark. All right, there you go. All right, so we're gonna be on this for a little while, gang, but just till we follow up, cut the bait in the triangle piece, hook it in the smallest end, keep it in the current, Make sure that hook doesn't get foul, and always bring a young guy with lots of muscles to pull on these big giant fish. You got any questions on how to do this and get your workout in, you can always reach out to us at sawstrong.com and also Florida Keats Fun Fishing with D, Captain Mark. That's me, Hollywood. Woo! Watching Wyatt get his workout today. Nice. Oh, no. Ah, oh. Turn back around, turn back around, turn back oh, around, he's... shark. Lift up, lift up, big lift up. Own that thing. Own there it. he is. Own there it. he is. That's, that's a bull a... shark all day. Wrap on the leader here. Big hook in the shark. corner of the mouth. Look at that. That is the perfect hook job. That is Wyatt, a big that shark. Is... Woo! Get in there. Dang. Look at that's man eater right there. <laughs> nice job, guys. Ooh. That is a Luke, man you get? eater. Hey, look, look at Luke back here. Hey, red snapper oh, on the prawn. Man, all the sharks gonna go after. Him. That's a snapper. Not you. Not today. You're not, Mr. Oh, shark. Oh man. Look at dude, that, Wyatt, boys. Well earned, there dude. we go. Beautiful. Snapped off there. Woo! That's 250 pound shark all day. Woo! Yeah, I felt, I felt every bit of it. On a 20 pound <laughs> rod, on 30 pound gear, and you owned him, brother. Good work. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club for inshore saltwater anglers. Going after redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder, there's nothing that even comes close to it. We guarantee you'll be catching more fish while saving time and money. We do that through our premium education our exclusive online community, and a huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.